Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus-free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes! You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? <sighs> got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. Not for me. For the lady. Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes, of course, you. Well, are you well versed in the lyrical arts? Sure, well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to... Read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? Mm -hmm. He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm going to solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. A junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class. But she said, I'll pass. She thought it too much of a risco. Ah, uh, you'd better let Daddy do this. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Ah, uh, you'd better let Daddy do this. Bad punzel, bad punzel, uh, ringle wrangle runzel. Ah, <coughs> uh, you'd better let Daddy do this. I bet I can do this without your help. That's what you said back then when you were playing Blind Man's Bluff. It took you three days to find your way home. And two years until you had paid off what you owed me from the bet. I haven't told you the half of it. What else have you gotten yourself into? I'll take... In Don't go away. I'll be... Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady, and, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. And the meter? What about that? No matter, as long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Bad punzel, bad punzel, uh, ringle wrangle runzel. <clears throat> Not bad at all. It's original, it's bold, and it's got this certain uh, artistic opacity. Br 
Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But... Th no! Go get her, Tiger. Huh. I have a feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Knock, knock! Hmm? You again? I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. Not bad at all. Mm, it rhymes. The message is clear and the metaphors work well. And it even contains a few romantic keywords. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But th no! Go get her, tiger. Huh. I have a feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Knock, knock. Hmm? You again? I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a... P Just give it a try. A junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class. But she said, I'll pass. She thought it too much of a risco. Not bad at all. It's amusing. <laughs> the meter works perfectly, and it's even a love story in the broadest sense. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But go get her, tiger. <laughs> I... I like your pretty face so well, and your sweet platypussy smell. Welcome again. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd... I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, Platy Poo. Wow. I suddenly feel so... Inspired? Elated? Moved? Sick. Grab a bus, Platypus. Guess I will, Ducky Bill. Knock, knock. Hmm? You are... I still need you. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Here am I. There are you. Platypoo. Say that again? Uh, here am I. There are you. Platypoo? You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent.
Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old... I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Ugh. <sighs> You'd better let Daddy do this. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What, ear wax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. Uh, but first, let me give you a few more hints. From father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Wait here, up. Yay! Uh, what just happened? Uh, I must have been unconscious. Uh, no wonder with the air. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh? What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Eponia. Lay aside certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Why didn't she show up? Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well ooh, start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Oh, I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter! That miserable old dirtbag! That louse!
Crane! Crane! What is it? I found something! One last... No! Little... Don't say it! Memo! I need a... Radio! Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject, just give me the radio. Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. If that doesn't beat all! Stealing my date from right under my nose! Your own son! Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father? He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh. I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuvak. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Huh? Look who's talking. Cole, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force, kicking and screaming? Just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this! Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze, dear, that's all. I... I... Uh, uh... All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Hey, you know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Shh, it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. <clears throat> Go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, <laughs> I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You are cuter than a batty wuss. You look just like a platypus? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you will find a way. And I should know. 
The others are a part of me, after all. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, but you have a real backbone, and you aren't such a sissy. That's true. Uh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? I'll just be on my way. Please. Hey, you! Why are you sneaking around here? Do you mean me? Of course I mean you! Or do you have an invisible buddy with you? Ha! Huh. If I had a buddy with me, he wouldn't be half as invisible as I am, because I move as inconspicuously as a ninja. Hey! Ah, no way! The way you stomp around, I would notice you even if you were hidden, using the golden dragon of invisibility from Gilligan's Gadget Shop. Ha! A real ninja doesn't need gadgets. I can dissolve into thin air with my secret stealth powers anytime. Then please do that. I don't want to see you around here again. Understand? Yoo-hoo! What? Where? 
So, what do you sell here? What does it look like? Well... No, seriously, what does it look like? I'm blind, you know. I see mostly mind-altering substances, illegal drugs, and questionable medications. Oh, good. That's all right, then. This is my drugstore, apparently. How may I help you? I'm new here. Are there any sites you would recommend? Very funny. I'm blind, just in case you hadn't noticed. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me! Mm. From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Ah, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. Mm, I'd noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. Hmm, what's up with that arena? Uh, I've been wondering about that myself. All I know is that it's a cauldron-shaped pit in the center of the marketplace. Some kind of sporting competition is held there, involving platypuses, I think, and water. Water? Yes. Luckily, they've now built a railing around the arena. Have you been to Bellevue recently? Very funny. You're blind? How come? Let's put it like this. I should have read the directions for use while I still could. Wait a minute. What is that? Boo-boo-boo! Uh, uh... Peek-a-boo! Get lost! I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? Are you giving away anything for free? Not really. The only thing I could offer you is a sample of this new plant. It contains various mind-altering substances that have never been tested on humans. Incredibly dangerous. Absolutely illegal. And the possible side effects are both unpredictable and unspeakable. But it's free. Yes, but... In that case, can I have it? Not so fast. You can only have the Cucumis Agnito in exchange for a free coupon. Cuckoo. What? Cucumis agnito, the cucumber of revelation. The active ingredient is in its juice. Unfortunately, the shell is very hard. Hard shell, dangerous content, unpredictable side effects. Oh, just like me. I would like a plus five healing potion. Sorry, all sold out. But I have some antidotes on sale. Nah, never mind. I'll save my money then. What's in that bottle back there? Undiluted ethanol with antifreeze? Tastes all right, really. I used to drink that a lot, until I was eventually no longer able to find the bottle. Have you got any sedatives? Yes, but you need a prescription. I've got a prescription right here. That's not a prescription. That's a button you tore from your coat. Are you quite sure about that? Listen, I may be blind, but I'm not dumb. Well, maybe you should get a second opinion. Won't you let me have a free cucumber? Only for a coupon. Ah, oh, great. And where would I get one of these coupons? From the free pharmacy magazine, of course. But I don't see a free pharmacy magazine here. Neither do I. But do you hear me complaining? It's prominently displayed here somewhere. No, it's not. When I took my break earlier, one copy was definitely still there. I tested a new laxative, and suddenly everything had to go very fast. And you took the magazine to the bathroom with you? What for? To read the cartoons? Ever heard of Braille? Also, Gulliver's Tavern is always out of toilet paper. Uh, nothing I need. You get what you deserve. See you later. Not if I see you first. Is this a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille. Although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? 
<laughs> he was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment, Cucumis Agnito, the cucumber of revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. 